What is up guys, Lincoln here. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Dread Captures. As always, we're diving into creepy trail cam footage, paranormal activity, unexplainable everything. So please like, subscribe, share with a friend, grab some popcorn, maybe a cocktail, maybe a bush light, and enjoy the captures. I found this photo on Reddit and the guy that posted it, his friend's son Adam was working for a roofing outfit in Tremont, Illinois. So that's basically the gist of it, but I'll read the email that he posted on Reddit. I've recently come across a photo that a friend had of his son, and I think it might capture your interest. The picture was taken by a young man named Adam who works for Coke Construction in Tremont, Illinois. The story behind this photo is quite unsettling. Adam's crew had been hired to work on the roof of a house recently acquired by new owners. The house's previous resident, an older woman, had died almost three months earlier. For two whole days, Adam and his team labored on the roof without seeing a soul around the property. However, there's a curious detail in the photo Adam took with his camera phone. Through one of the old windows of the supposedly empty house, you can see the figure of someone looking out. Now, I don't know about you, but this looks eerily like the lady that might have lived there before. From what I know of Adam, he is known to be a reliable and straightforward person, not given to making up stories. So while the image might raise some eyebrows, I believe it to be true. It grabbed my attention and piqued my curiosity as well. Have a look at the photo for yourself, and I'm interested in your thoughts. Sincerely, Carl Aberg. Well, yeah, clear as day. You can see someone standing in that window. I mean, could the former owner really still be lingering in her home? And when I say that, I mean the ghost of her. I'm sure she's not. She didn't fake her death. The only other real legitimate thing I could think of is that maybe it was a mannequin of some sort and they just didn't notice it until they took the picture. I don't even know. It sticks out like a sore thumb. In my opinion, it's either the ghost of the lady or it is a complete hoax. Anyhow, let me know what you guys think. Okay, these clips are nuts. They were shared by Mr. Tan and Paranormal on TikTok. The videos are going to show a boy repeatedly tormented by an ominous presence. In the initial segment, as he's playing with his toddler sister, a baby rolling chair shoots across the room on its own, and the way he's freaked out is unmistakable. Initially, he's frozen, and you can see him debating whether to grab his sister and run to safety or bolt to the other room and grab his mom. We can't hear what the boy says to his mom, but she comes flying in, scoops up his sister, and starts swinging umbrella as though she's warding off some invisible attacker, shouting for whatever it is to get the heck out and leave her family alone. I almost said a bad word there. The next event involving the same family, the child and his mother are enjoying a board game when something nutty happens. Out of nowhere, the game just flips off the table. Again, the boy is freaked out. His mother is trying to reassure him, let him know that everything's okay. And he's like, uh, no, it's not. Didn't you just see the game flip off the table? And then he starts gesturing towards the room's corner, like he sees something over there. From what we can tell, the mother is insisting that nothing's over there. The space is empty. She even tosses a blanket towards the area. And that's when she got the fright of her life. The blanket landed on an outline of something that's unseen. The shape that the blanket molded around seemed to move independently, like it was a figure. On another occasion, the mom goes into the boy's room, tells him to wrap it up, wrap up the gaming session, we have school the next day. So like any good kid, he keeps playing. Of course he does. However, he is quickly going to stop when a shadowy figure materializes in the window's reflection, seemingly rising from the void. Wishing he had stopped playing the game, now noticing he's alone, he panics. His scream pierces the silence before he flies out of the room. The clips end with no real finality to these situations. But what's your perspective on these chilling moments? 
Do we think some otherworld ghostly presence is terrorizing the boy? Or is it just someone else terrorizing the boy? Which would be terrible, but for the love of social media. And it should go mention that the boy appears to be at the center of these disturbing happenings. Sure, his mother's in the vicinity, but they all start with him. Anyhow, let me know what you guys think. It appears that bears have tastes that extend beyond their well-known love for honey, as evidenced by a surprising event that unfolded at a family gathering in Mexico. A bold bear has made its way to the picnic table, eagerly partaking in the savory tacos and enchiladas. Who doesn't like Mexican food? The sight of the bear scared the family to death. I mean, they're pretty much motionless. Which is a pretty typical reaction when faced with such a gigantic, imposing apex predator. In a moment of quick thinking, the person filming the incident put their camera down and distracted the bear with a fresh plate of enchiladas, allowing the family to slip away from the table and get into hiding. They joked around that the bear didn't stick around for dessert, leaving the cake untouched. Now, I hope I would react this way. I'll have to admit the calm demeanor the family maintained during this encounter is commendable. You know, this isn't a deer or some raccoons or wild geese. This is a bear. The bear seems to be young, and we all know the scariest part would be if his mother showed up. Nevertheless, I'm glad everyone's safe. It was interesting to see the bear's behavior when he encountered human food. It seemed he became quite absorbed in that feast, paying little mind to the humans nearby. Luckily. Alright, let's talk about this video for a sec. That bear didn't look that big, right? I mean, I be honest. What are we doing here? Like, I'd have a really hard time holding my kid and just let the bear enjoy the smorgasbord right in front of me. Like I said in the video, I'm not going to fight it, but I'm at least going to get away. I don't know. Maybe not. All over the world, countless individuals are venturing into the wilderness in search of a break from the stresses of daily life. And this pulling desire for adventure draws them to remote corners of these vast natural paradises, far, far away from cities and the social constraints of city life, the dog eat dog, the rat race. You guys know what I'm talking about. However, in these serene settings where many seek solitude in a moment of reflection, Numerous unexplained phenomena occur, and occasionally we are fortunate enough for someone to have caught these mysterious events on camera. Well, Rob Wakefield, a freelance content creator, managed to record a chilling sight in Stansted, Mount Fitchett. In his footage, he captured a shadowy figure lingering on a path near the river. Unbeknownst to him, this eerie apparition is tied to the local legend of a tragic train accident. It's believed that the ghostly figure might be the spirit of a person who was struck by a train on the nearby tracks. Curious, Rob continued along the path toward the river, but he didn't notice anything unusual at the time. It was only later when he had gotten home, after he reviewed the footage, that he realized he had captured something extraordinary. This creepy image, steeped in mystery and possibly hinting at the supernatural, was taken from Reddit. This photo was taken by an anonymous photographer using a Nokia 7250 picture phone at Eastwood City in Manila. This photo might just stretch the boundaries of our understanding of the afterlife. In this grainy nighttime image, two women smile for the camera, unaware of the eerie presence beside them. A ghostly figure seems to reach out and touch one of the lady's arms. The peculiar aspect of this encounter is that at the moment the picture was snapped, nothing was felt or seen by either of the girls. What's truly captivating is the seemingly benign nature of this presence. Unlike many stories of hauntings that speak of dangerous, mean spirits, this one appears to be pretty pleasant, if it is a spirit at all. 
Some are saying it's a digital glitch, a hoax, or it really is a friendly visitor from the other side. I'd love for you to check out the image and draw your own conclusions. Do we have a genuine moment of paranormal contact? Captured in the digital ether? Or is there another explanation behind the Manila mystery? As always, it seems the truth remains just out of reach. This next video became a TikTok sensation, but its content is far more unsettling than what you normally find there. This clip is scary for different reasons if you ask me. If we look back quite some time, there have been worrisome connotations linked to churches involving clergy and young congregants, we'll say. In this footage, a priest is leading a hymn and prayers in Spanish when out of nowhere, a spine-tingling scream erupts from within the church. El Señor esté con ustedes. El Señor esté con ustedes. Everyone can hear it. And everyone that's present is alarmed. Some viewers suggest that the whale might have originated from a demon or a restless spirit calling out from beyond. However, when you want the real juice, you go to the comments. And there are a range of theories. A few suggest that the priest was well aware of the source of the sound, which might explain why he ended the service prematurely. Even though it's in Spanish, the voice is distinctly heard pleading for help. Observers noted and this was the biggest thing that I noticed as well, is that the young altar boy appeared to glance around anxiously as the cries began. You even see him look out into the congregation like, is someone gonna say something or do something or help this person? But what really happened? It seems as if no one knows. Was an altar boy in distress, perhaps in some hidden recess of the church? Or is this a case of the supernatural? Regardless of the explanation, the very notion is deeply disturbing. All right, so that video, I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm not really one to just jump on the bandwagon with certain things. But what really freaked me out about that was when the scream happened, the look on the kid's face. And I mentioned it in the video, like, to me, that was a look of, is somebody going to do something? I don't know, maybe it's just, hopefully it's not, but. In the sewers of Northern England, tales of unexplained entities living in the shadows have circulated for years. These subterranean passages hidden beneath the urban landscape are rumored to shelter mysterious beings. These creatures are thought to possess a unique form of bioluminescence, which they use to navigate their way through the pitch black tunnels. Captured by a maintenance robot equipped with a night vision lens, the footage reveals a swift shadowy figure darting past the camera with blazing speed. When we pause and really check out the image, distinct physical features become apparent. The figure definitely has hind limbs, and a tail that kind of reminds me of a kangaroo, but also shorter four limbs or arms akin to those of like a raptor or even some other reptilian species. Later in the clip, a more imposing figure appears. Its eyes pierce through the night and seem to be examining the robotic intruder, almost curious. Personally to me, this larger being moves with a sense of grace definitely for his size. At first glance, the word primate comes to mind, or even a massive animal that walks on four legs. I mean, what in the world could this be? You know, over the years and on into the future, science has granted us an expansive catalog of biological knowledge. Yet we're foolish to try to dismiss the abundance of mysteries that have yet to be unraveled. There are so many things that we don't know about. Anyhow, I'd like to know more about this. Let me know what you guys think in the comments.
In this particular video, a homeowner decided to review footage from his home security camera after noticing some odd occurrences near his staircase. To his astonishment, he observed what appeared to be the faint figures of a young boy and a dog frolicking on the stairs and in the nearby living room. Intrigued, but also a little scared, the homeowner decided to delve deeper into the history of his residence. And wouldn't you know it, back in the late 1960s, a family of four consisting of a couple, their two young children, a boy and a girl, and their pet dog, called this house their home. One afternoon, as the kids were returning from school, their dog, who had been eagerly waiting by a tree in the yard, started barking like crazy and jumping up and down and eventually dashed towards them. The younger child, a little boy, laughed and ran across the street to meet his little buddy. In an absolutely heart-wrenching turn of events, both the boy and the dog were struck by an oncoming vehicle, resulting in their untimely deaths. Even though I don't know this family, I can imagine. Just telling that part of the story stung a little bit, if I'm being honest. Anyhow. The question on everyone's mind is could this footage be a glimpse of the boy and the young pup? Maybe their presence still lingering around the home? Funny enough, that's how the new owner sees it. He sees it as a cherished moment shared between a boy and his beloved pet. And he admits while he was scared at the beginning, he's no longer scared. It's actually a pleasant memory. Driving down a deserted road, a man jams on his brakes when something odd catches his eye. Nope, I don't believe this is Bigfoot. It looks more like a wolf. At least that's what it looked like. But as we watch it again, this thing is strolling around on its hind legs. The man whips his car around and snaps a photo of what appears to be a bipedal dog or a wolf. It's hard to tell what we're looking at. Its arms are oddly thin and it has this strange gait that makes you think twice. And the ears? They were difficult to make out, but they look similar to a dog's. It looks more like a monster, to be honest. My eyes keep being drawn to the arms. What are up with these things? It looks like they're missing skin and muscle. The arm bones are clearly visible. It's pretty gross, actually. But the rest of the body is definitely covered in a classic wolf's fur, all thick and shaggy. So what do we have going on here? Is this a wolf or some unknown cryptid that's shown itself? I've seen this video a time or two and have never heard a definitive answer as to what it is. What do you guys think? What do you make of this thing on the side of the road? A user on TikTok who absolutely loves her three dogs decided to share a bit of her life. She was just recording her dogs during their usual evening relaxation. About 30 seconds into the video, she had no idea she was about to capture one of the most unsettling videos TikTok has ever seen. Two of her three dogs were calm and relaxed, but the other one seemed uneasy, looking at something strange down a dark hallway next to their living room. After about a minute, the woman recording the video started to feel uneasy herself, and when she glanced over, she noticed something unusual in the dimly lit corridor. If you look closely, you can see a shadowy figure lurking in the darkness, partially visible through that open doorway. You can barely distinguish a figure that appears tall and human-like, half exposed. It quickly retreats into the room it was peering from, probably a bathroom, and is once again hidden in the increasingly scary darkness. The woman filming, and all of her dogs, are clearly frightened at this point. And once the shadowy figure moves, she yells in shock and you can practically hear her heart pounding. But the worst part of this video is that it ends abruptly, leaving us all in suspense. I have no idea why she would stop the recording. Well, I kind of have an idea, but I'm still a little bummed. Anyhow, what do you guys think of this clip? This is the second or third one of these we've seen. Are these real or are they just hoaxes? TikTok user Casey Dostert has been drawing quite a crowd with his chilling series of videos, alluding to and indicating that his ranch might be either haunted or frequented by some puzzling cryptid. Over several months, Dostert has been dishing up a regular service of strange and unexplainable incidents from his land. 
These freak occurrences have caused viewers to speculate about the possible involvement of a cryptid, or at the very least some other unearthly presence. A few seconds in, the first clip rolls out with the landowner Casey filming late into the night, and we can hear noises echoing from afar, almost like some creature in pain. Casey even says, They're unusually close to the house tonight, as growls of an unseen creature fill the air. These sinister sounds are like nothing they've ever heard before, and it prompts questions about their origin and nature. As he looks out from his front porch, a scared Casey says he has to reach his truck for work, but is hesitant to leave the safety of his porch given the situation. He's clearly freaked out. In this next clip, Doster spots some movement at the far end of his property. All right, whatever you are, you need to leave. Almost immediately, two glowing orbs appear in the distance, suggesting eyes of a bipedal figure hiding out in the woods. Taking no chances, he lets off a warning shot to discourage the shadowy figure. I don't think it's going to come around for a little bit. I don't think it'll be back for a while, he says. These intriguing videos are really drumming up some questions. Is this truly a cryptid, or is there a more mundane explanation behind these spooky sightings? Some practical viewers propose the mysterious figure might just be a misidentified animal, or perhaps even a practical joke. On the other hand, many others are firm believers that the ranch is, in fact, the chosen haunt of a cryptid. Just out of sight, like usual. As we draw to a close, I want to ask you guys, what are your thoughts on this peculiar footage? I look forward to reading them in the comments. TikTok user WV Paranormal shared a series of bone chilling clips in August of 2021, recorded during a seemingly normal family day out in the backyard. What was an ordinary day turned eerie when the family was out and about playing and tending to their garden. As the clip rolls, we hear the mom call her kids in for a bath. Suddenly, she feels a strange sensation, as if she's being watched, and swiftly turns her camera toward a cluster of trees. Now brace yourself for what she captures. It might take a moment for you to spot it, but look carefully. There seems to be a figure lurking amongst the trees, seemingly watching the children playing. The following day, the mother has a chilling encounter with the figure yet again. Oh my God, nobody is going to ever believe this. All right, we're going, we're going back inside. Amidst the sound of her baby crying, she decides it's time to head back indoors. The same towering, bizarre figure is now visibly standing right behind a shed. Its face appearing oddly featureless and gray. It peeks its head out. The family is left baffled, but mostly disturbed. What is going on? Is this an intruder spying on her children? Or is this really some mysterious cryptid or creature or misidentified animal? Tell me what you guys would do in this situation. Especially if you spotted someone creeping around your family from afar. Let me know. I know what mine would be. In the small town of Brooksville, nestled within the verdant heart of Florida, lived a man by the name of Earl Anderson. Earl was an experienced hunter, known for his patience and keen eye. He had a reputation as a storyteller, sharing tales of his adventures through the sprawling Floridian wilderness. But on an oppressively humid day in July, Earl stumbled upon something that changed his stories forever, and perhaps the tales of this town itself. Late in the evening, after the sultry heat had begun to cool, Earl set out to check his trail cameras nestled deep in the Withlacoochee forest. As he hiked through the damp undergrowth, the chorus of cicadas was deafening. He felt a strange uneasiness creeping up his spine, a feeling he had never experienced in these familiar woods. Upon reaching his trail camera, he immediately noticed something amiss. The camera, usually facing the trail, was askew, pointing haphazardly into the brush. 
Curiosity peaked, Earl adjusted the camera and retrieved the memory card, anxious to see what had happened. Back at his modest cabin, Earl sat down at his aging desktop computer. He slipped the memory card into the slot, anticipation bubbling within as the images began to load. As he flipped through the pictures, he found the usual suspects. Raccoons, deer, an occasional bobcat, which was cool. But then, the images took a turn for the unusual. An enormous figure, bipedal, covered in thick hair, appeared on the screen. It was muscular and broad-shouldered, with long arms and an almost human-like stature. Earl leaned in closer, eyes wide with disbelief. This was no ordinary creature. This was something else. Something he'd only ever heard about in hushed, half-joking conversations at the local bar. Could it be the skunk ape? Florida's very own version of Bigfoot? The final image was the clearest. The creature stared directly into the camera, its eyes reflecting an intelligent gleam. It almost seemed as if it was aware of the camera, hence its skewing. The realization struck Earl like a lightning bolt. He was the first to capture undeniable photographic evidence of the skunk ape. Earl couldn't keep this discovery to himself. He rushed into town, sharing his findings with anyone who would listen. He was met with skepticism. People dismissing Earl as a tall tale teller finally succumbing to his own stories. But the local newspaper picked up the story, and soon word spread. Experts from around the state poured into Brooksville, all wanting a glimpse at Earl's photos. Some were skeptical, suggesting the image could be an unusually large bear or a clever hoax. However, others couldn't dismiss the clear humanoid features and the uncanny intelligence in the creature's eyes. Finally, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission got involved. After weeks of analysis, they couldn't deny the figure's resemblance to the descriptions of the mythical skunk ape. Though they couldn't conclusively identify the creature, they acknowledged the photos were indeed authentic and hadn't been tampered with. While not a definitive proof, Earl's photos sparked new interest and belief in the skunk ape. Though the doubters remained, Earl was content. He knew what he saw, knew what he had. His tale had a new chapter, one of discovery and wonder, and it was breathing new life into the legend of the Floridian skunk ape. Switching gears a little bit, this upcoming one is so creepy that I actually wish it was CGI. I wish this was fake. This clip was shared on the Facebook group Weird, Fantastic, and Odd Things by a user named Max Jack. A resident in Thailand came across this odd-looking snake and took it under their care. And this thing appears to be covered in a green fur. I mean, what is this? Some people have put forward the idea that it could be a form of algae growing on the reptile's skin, but I don't know. The man said he kept it alive by feeding it fish. He also said he plans to turn this peculiar snake over to authorities for study and identification. So for now, we can only watch this clip of this mysterious creature. I first featured this exact clip in one of my earliest videos, and the quality left much to be desired. Recently, I rediscovered it with significantly improved clarity, and I had to show it to you guys. So let's take a trip down to Mississippi to revisit this intriguing footage from 2015. The video captures a cryptic, ape-like entity attentively digging in this tree trunk. We're not sure what it's doing, but whatever's in there has this guy's attention. Oblivious to the nearby human, the man stealthily films the creature, and I'd reckon he goes unnoticed because of its intense focus on his task. If you frequented my channel, you'll know my standard advice when coming face to face with such peculiar beings. Maintain a safe distance. Their capabilities are unpredictable. Unfortunately, this man teeters dangerously close to a potentially dire outcome. At first, the creature's size may not strike you as extraordinary. However, the true scale is revealed when the creature, initially sitting, rises to its full formidable height. It's at this moment that it spots the man recording the scene, and immediately starts to give chase. While we lose sight of the creature, we can hear the footsteps ringing through the air. How the man escaped unscathed, and with the video still remains a puzzle. What's your take? Are we looking at a genuine Bigfoot here? Or perhaps a gorilla? Or a skunk ape? Could this entire encounter be an intricately designed hoax? 
Let me know what you think. Well, 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 what do we have here? For you non-believers of the paranormal world, this video might just sway your opinion. Originally installed deep in the forest to observe animal behavior, a trail camera surprisingly recorded a man casually strolling through this remote area. Upon closer inspection, a well-used path can be observed, indicating frequent human activity despite the isolated nature of this location. The main peculiarity here, though, is the time when the footage was captured, late into the night. Of course, a time generally considered risky for such a secluded place. This area is filled with unpredictable wildlife and even some mighty sketchy, dangerous individuals. Unfazed by these potential hazards, the young man in the clip confidently walks into frame. But only a few seconds later, we're shocked when he's suddenly attacked by an unidentified figure. I must clarify, this might not be a human, but a form that can't be clearly made out for sure. The attacker doesn't look human, its blurry form standing in stark contrast to the clearly visible man. If it was a human, wouldn't it show up on camera just like this guy? Could it be that a ghost shoved him to the ground? While we're left struggling to determine the exact identity of this attacker, one fact remains unquestionable. The footage has not been manipulated. Are we witnessing a ghostly entity or some other supernatural being? Or maybe you have a more rational explanation for this incident. Please share your thoughts. I'm very interested. Our journey begins on a scenic train ride through southwest Colorado. Imagine this. You're looking out the window of your train, taking in the beautiful landscapes, and suddenly a shadowy form catches your eye. Could it truly be the elusive creature? Your heart races as you scramble to capture this fleeting moment. Enter Brandon, a traveler from Florida who came with the simple expectation of relishing the mountain views. Yet what he encountered was far more extraordinary. Attempting to stabilize his camera at a magnified zoom from a moving train. Camera stabilized at that zoom level. Brandon managed to record an intriguing video one that surpassed many alleged Bigfoot sightings. This unexpected capture didn't take long to become an internet sensation. The relentless limelight, however, pushed Brandon to retreat to privacy on his social media. But amidst this whirlwind, a cherished memory from his childhood resurfaced. The footage reminded him of tales of Florida's skunk ape, a local legend akin to Bigfoot. These tales, spun by Brandon's grandfather during their fishing trips, felt suddenly tangible. And when he shared the clip with his grandpa, the old man's excitement was evident. Yet, the debate surrounding the footage rages on. Was this creature in Brandon's video an authentic cryptid or merely a local prankster dressed in a suit? While skeptics are quick to debunk, many find genuine joy in the speculative theories and many more claim that this is the real deal. I don't know what to think while watching the video. I would have to say that it is one of two things. Either this is a genuine Bigfoot or Sasquatch sighting, or that is indeed a person dressed in a costume and playing an early Halloween prank on the train passing by. Let me know what you all think about this. This video is from a few days ago and has only recently hit the news stations. As the tale unfolds, if the allure of mystery beckons, perhaps a ride on that very Colorado train awaits you. Looking at a popular picture from online stories about mysterious creatures, we go back to September 3rd, 2013. On this day, the internet buzzed with excitement over a unique photo someone posted on Facebook. This wasn't just any photo. It had a close-up of a strange creature's eye. Trail cameras are often hidden in the forest to capture images of animals. Sometimes animals find these cameras and look into them, curious about this strange thing in their home. What if the eye that looked into this camera was not your typical forest animal? People started to wonder if this eye might belong to the famous creature, Bigfoot. Bigfoot is often thought of as a tall creature 
that looks somewhat like a human but lives hidden in the forests. This eye in the picture looked a bit human but also different. However, when talking about these mysterious creatures, it's important to be careful and not jump to conclusions. Sometimes, what looks like a solid clue can be just a play of light or an illusion. In this case, an expert looked at the photo and compared the eye to that of a pig. The expert believed that the eye was probably just a pig's eye and not Bigfoot's. A police officer in New Jersey received a call about a deer hit by a car, but what transpired resembled something more akin to a carjacking. The officer's dash cam footage reveals a driver who had pulled over after colliding with a deer. However, the unexpected happened when the injured deer tried to enter the car. The deer showed persistence, but the driver, Ellen Sager, was equally determined to keep it out. She explained that she had pulled over to check on the deer's condition. But when she opened her car door, the deer seemed to interpret it as an invitation to climb inside. Sager described the deer as frantic, but she used her foot to gently push it back, preventing it from getting inside. Eventually, the deer got the message and took off. Thankfully, Sager was unharmed. But unfortunately, the deer did not survive its injuries. There has been a lot of talk recently about UFOs and extraterrestrial life. In a video taken earlier this month, we see what appears to be three UFOs flying over central Nevada. As the video continues, you can also see F-22 fighter jets following behind them. After watching this, I immediately went to the comments and there was a plethora of ideas of what is going on. First, probably a third of the people are claiming it to be completely photoshopped pointing out that one of the planes trailing the UFOs isn't even flying in the same direction. The next third claims that the government is escorting the UFOs somewhere, and within the same breath are explaining that government involvement and media control is why we can't say with 100% certainty that aliens are on our planet. The last third are fully zoned in. This is authentic footage and wholeheartedly believe there are three UFOs being tracked down by fighter jets just as the video shows. No questions asked. I'm no expert in Photoshop, so I'm not really sure where I stand here. I'm curious what you all think. Are you more of the take me to your leader type? Or is this just a hoax for attention? This is a pretty hilarious clip as an osprey has snatched a puffer fish from the water. For those that don't know, the fish has blown up as its defensive tactic. It doesn't take a wildlife biologist to understand that this tactic is highly unlikely to work against the bird. His best bet is to hope the osprey drops him back into the water. A little side note, these puffer fish are delicious. Have any of you ever eaten them? They're known as chicken of the sea because once cooked, you eat them just like a chicken drumstick. I know you guys aren't here for cooking lessons, but let me know if you've had puffer fish before. In this video, we're journeying into the heart of grizzly territory to share a touching tale of Boo, a 19-year-old grizzly bear waking up from his long winter nap. Imagine feeling like you've just had the worst hangover. That's boo for you after his hibernation. Living in the expansive Kicking Horse Mountain Resort Sanctuary in British Columbia, Boo's story is one of hope and resilience. Once a vulnerable orphan cub facing a grim fate, today, he plays a crucial role in advancing grizzly research. Ever wonder how these majestic creatures know when spring is near? As daylight grows and temperatures rise, Boo stirs from his deep sleep. Within his den, he's all hustle and bustle grooming, stretching, and prepping for the world beyond his hideaway. And the moment he's set, he steps out, blinking against the bright sunlight, taking in the invigorating smells of a new season. The sanctuary works hard to make sure Boo feels right at home, replicating the wild grizzly environment. True to his nature, Boo carefully selects his bedding materials, 
like grass and fireweed, ensuring he has the comfiest spot for the cold months. But did you know? Not all grizzlies hibernate the same way. Boo started his rest on December 5th. But other bears, especially those near the coast, might skip hibernation if there's enough food around. This is just a really cool video and topic if you ever want to dive into the intricate world of grizzlies. Let's give a big salute to Boo, the incredible representative of his kind. In this video, we see a house sitting off to the side here. The area around the house is well lit. At first, everything looks normal, but suddenly, a large shadow appears from the direction the camera is pointing. The bright lights around the house make the shadow very clear. Right after the shadow shows up, an alarm sounds, suggesting there might be an intruder. The shadow stops for a moment when the alarm sounds, but then keeps moving once it's quiet again. What's really surprising is how big the shadow is. It looks like a very large creature with a hunched back and very long arms. It moves quietly, and if not for the alarm, we might not have noticed it. This makes us wonder, could this shadow be a famous cryptid? The Instagram post showcases what appears to be a hiker, maybe even an explorer, journeying through the woods. At first, everything seems ordinary with the usual forest landscape and nothing out of the ordinary. But then, out of nowhere, a large figure can be seen lurking behind one of the tree trunks. Its dark looming presence somewhat resembles the legendary creature known as Bigfoot or Sasquatch. For those unfamiliar, Bigfoot is often described as a large, hairy, human-like creature, believed by some to live in the remote forests of North America, especially in the Pacific Northwest region. As the hiker approaches this mysterious figure, it attempts to hide behind the tree. But here's the puzzling part. Despite its size, it somehow disappears behind a tree trunk that doesn't seem wide enough to conceal it. It's as if it vanished into thin air, leaving no sign of its presence. The person filming can be heard gasping in surprise. There are various theories swirling around. Some viewers speculate it might be a shadow person, essentially a dark humanoid silhouette. Those who dive into the paranormal or supernatural often see these shadow figures as manifestations of spirits or otherworldly entities. So what's your take? What do you believe this figure is? Recently, a video surfaced on Instagram that has gained quite the attention. The clip showcases what many believe to be a UFO, an unidentified flying object. This intriguing footage was captured on March 23rd, 2023, in Arizona. What is that? It's a UFO. <gasps> oh, Do you yeah, see it? Oh, oh, what is that? As you watch the video, you can hear a group of individuals animatedly discussing what they're witnessing against the backdrop of a thunderstorm. Pay close attention and you might just spot it. Every time there's a flash of lightning, an obscure object appears to be concealed behind the clouds. It's fleeting, but it's there. Many viewers after watching the video drew a parallel with the movie, Nope. In this film, a man and his sister stumble upon something truly eerie in the skies, hovering over their California horse ranch. Meanwhile, an opportunistic theme park owner nearby attempts to capitalize on this strange and unexplained event. The Instagram comment section was buzzing with activity. Many UFO enthusiasts were convinced that this was a genuine sighting, a mysterious craft revealing itself for just a moment. Yet, there were skeptics who believed it could be some kind of ploy or perhaps even a scheme orchestrated by the government. What do you think? Can you spot the elusive object hidden amongst the rolling dark clouds?
There's a captivating video making the rounds on Instagram right now. It was filmed in Iran, and it shows what some are claiming to be a mysterious creature that looks like a mermaid. In the video, you can see a group of people, clearly curious, huddled around this creature. Some of them even bravely poke at its tail, perhaps hoping for some kind of reaction. While the creature lies mostly still on the ground, it occasionally shifts its fins and arms. Now, this isn't the first time there have been claims of mermaid sightings. Back in 2009, there was a highly talked about sighting in Kiryat Yam. That particular footage showcased what appeared to be a girl, but with half of her body looking very much like a fishtail. The local authorities were so intrigued that they even put up a cash reward for anyone who could offer solid proof of the creature's existence. Yet, even with the allure of that reward, no one has ever come forward with undeniable evidence. Now, if you're wondering what mermaids are, here's a bit of a refresher. Often depicted in tales and myths, mermaids are said to be aquatic beings with the upper body of a woman and the tail of a fish. These enchanting creatures can be found in folklore from cultures all over the world, from Europe and Asia to Africa. Sometimes, they're painted in a positive light, but there are also stories linking mermaids to dangerous events like floods, shipwrecks, and even drownings. One of the earliest tales of a mermaid comes from Assyrian legends. It's the story of Atargetes, a deity who, according to myth, fell deeply in love with a mortal shepherd named Adad. They had a daughter together, Semiramis, who eventually became the powerful queen of Assyria. But tragedy struck when Atargetes accidentally caused the death of her beloved Adad. Overwhelmed with guilt, she threw herself into a lake, transforming into a mermaid. Historical figures have claimed to see mermaids too. Christopher Columbus, the famous explorer, once reported seeing mermaids during his voyages. However, he remarked that they weren't as beautiful as the stories and paintings made them out to be. Whether you believe in mermaids or not, it's undeniable that these tales and videos capture our imaginations and make us wonder about the mysteries of the deep. So let me know, do you guys believe in mermaids? This is just another amazing display of athleticism from a cat. Watch as this leopard lays in wait and pounces on this gazelle. Like we've talked about a million times before, when a big cat wants you, she gets you. The best you can hope is that she doesn't choose you as her next meal. Amazing camera capture. In a video that has garnered a couple million views on social media, we can supposedly see a dogman staring through the trees. The encounter says to have taken place near the end of day, after a man's children reported to their father that a dog-like creature was following them. Tell me what you guys think. As we watch it again, I'm not so sure about this. First of all, this video footage is some of the clearest we've seen. The footage from this security camera was posted online, and it offers a glimpse into something quite mysterious. The video shows the outside area of the uploader's home, and initially, nothing much seems to be going on. 
The only notable thing happening is some occasional lightning flashing across the sky. However, just a few moments later, something truly strange and unexpected makes its appearance right in front of the camera. Now, pay close attention because this happens quickly. Between two parked cars, you'll notice a figure suddenly passing by. This figure appears to be quite slim, has an unusually shaped head, and moves at an unusually fast speed. Almost as quickly as it appears, the figure vanishes into thin air, leaving you to wonder what you've just witnessed. The person who uploaded the video thinks they may have captured an alien on camera, which, let's be honest, is quite a claim. However, many viewers who have watched the footage are more inclined to believe that what was caught on camera is likely a ghost, not an extraterrestrial being. It sparked quite a debate. So what's your take on it? What do you think this mysterious figure really is? You guys need to see this captivating video that someone posted on TikTok. Filmed against the backdrop of the night sky, the buildings being lit up in the distance make everything look even more mysterious. But here's where things get really puzzling. There's something strange up in the sky that has people scratching their heads. You can see an object hovering in mid-air just hanging out there. When you zoom in for a closer look, it starts to resemble a figure that's gliding through the air, almost like it's floating or flying. People watching the video have been quick to throw out their own theories. Some folks are saying it could be a guy strapped to a jetpack just cruising around. Others are speculating that it might even be an alien checking out the neighborhood. So, what's your take on this? What do you think that object in the sky really is? Let's shift our focus to something that might be a little more controversial, but equally captivating. Have you guys seen this footage? It shows a big animal darting across the camera's view. Its movements so quick they're almost a blur. This creature's agility and speed are amazing. Observing its remarkable size and the rich color of its fur, it's hard not to be amazed by what nature has to offer. Now, you are most likely thinking, this is definitely a bear? But here's the catch. Bears don't usually move the way this creature does. And while we might consider apes like chimps or gorillas, they generally don't walk on their hind limbs in the way this creature seems to. And also, those primates aren't native to this area. That leads us to an intriguing possibility. Could this be footage of the elusive Bigfoot? But stay with me. There's an unusual detail in the footage that we can't ignore. The creature appears to be smaller than the typical depictions we've seen of Bigfoot. Could this be a young Bigfoot, perhaps still growing into its legendary size? I definitely find this possibility to be quite compelling, but what do you think? Could this really be a juvenile Bigfoot, or is there another explanation that we're missing? I'd love to hear your thoughts, so feel free to share them in the comments below. Next, we have a super creepy video from the TikTok user Creepypesto. This account is known for sharing eerie videos with no explanations, and this one is no exception. In this particular video, we find ourselves in a seemingly innocent playground scene. A young girl is happily playing, oblivious to the horrors that are about to unfold. Her father is recording her, probably capturing some precious moments to cherish later. But then, things take a terrifying turn. The little girl suddenly points behind her father, signaling something ominous lurking in the shadows. As any concerned parent would, the father turns around to investigate what could be causing his daughter's unease. And there she is, the creepy girl, a haunting sight to behold. She's staring right at the father with a face that sends an uncomfortable, eerie feeling. Her eyes appear sunken and her features ghoulish, as if she's a specter from another realm. Now, some skeptics might dismiss this as just an ordinary girl wearing creepy makeup, trying to pull off a spooky prank. But here's where it gets truly chilling. After just a few seconds, 
the creepy girl vanishes into thin air, leaving the father and yes viewer stunned and bewildered. What just happened? Where did she go? There's no logical explanation for her sudden disappearance. It's like she was never there to begin with. Was she a ghost? A restless spirit trying to make her presence known? Or was it something more sinister, playing tricks on the father's mind? Today, we're taking a close look at footage that has sparked debate and speculation for several years now. This footage has managed to capture the attention of both enthusiasts and skeptics, creating a swirl of conversation around what might be possible. When the topic turns to beings that feed on blood, many of us naturally think of vampires, those legendary creatures that have been both romanticized and vilified in literature and film for centuries. But let's consider this. What if there are other creatures lurking in the fringes of our understanding that share the same dietary preference? We often hear stories, particularly from rural areas, of animals found mysteriously drained of their blood. Reports usually come from farms, where livestock becomes the unfortunate victim. But the creature we're discussing today seems to have a specific proclivity for animal blood, offering at least some reassurance to us humans. Meet the Chupacabra, a creature of lore and legend, and today, the focal point of our discussion. In the footage we're examining, sourced from a farm no less, we see what might be the clearest evidence yet of the chupacabra's existence. Farmers managed to capture the creature on film as it was evidently in the process of draining livestock. They nearly had it captured too, but in a turn of events that could only add to its elusive legend, the creature managed to escape. This raises a number of intriguing questions. Have these farmers inadvertently provided us with the most compelling evidence yet of a creature, once considered pure myth? Are we on the cusp of recognizing the existence of a being that has been dismissed for so long as mere folklore? And if so, what else might be out there that we've yet to discover? I find myself increasingly swayed by this new evidence, and it's certainly opened my mind to a realm of possibilities previously considered implausible. But this exploration would be incomplete without your input. What's your perspective? Do you think we've been offered a genuine glimpse of the legendary Chupacabra? Or are we just being drawn into another elaborate myth? Let me know what you think. The video you're about to see is 100. It brings us face to face with the true nature of bears. Creatures we often consider cute or cuddly thanks to the desensitization we get from the internet. This footage takes us to Yellowstone Park, where a very different story unfolds. A park ranger on duty had a close call when a bear appeared out of nowhere. Fortunately, the ranger was near their vehicle and had a firearm on hand. A few warning shots were fired into the air, which were enough to make the bear think twice and retreat. One can't help but wonder what could have happened if the ranger had been less prepared or less experienced in dealing with such wildlife encounters. It's a stark reminder that the wilderness can be unpredictable and potentially dangerous. When stepping into areas like these, it's best to be as prepared as possible and think twice if you're not experienced or if you're alone. What are your thoughts on this intense encounter? Would you feel prepared in a situation like this? Next, let's examine an intriguing image shared by a woman named Audrey. Audrey set up a trail cam in a secluded wooded area, primarily to capture footage of local wildlife. But one of the most recent captures displayed something that deviated from the usual. What appears to be a humanoid figure staring directly into the camera. The odd part? While the rest of the image is quite clear, this figure is noticeably blurry. So what are we looking at here? Our follower believes that she may have captured evidence of a ghost or cryptid. That's not a leap to make lightly. I have to say, nothing comes to mind that quite matches this. It's a puzzling image for sure, but let's consider all possibilities. Could this blurriness be a result of camera movement or some other technical glitch? 
Or perhaps, as some might suspect, could the image have been altered or manipulated in some way? Skepticism is a healthy approach, especially in matters like these, so a part of me wonders if this might not be as paranormal as it initially seems. As always, your input is invaluable. What are your thoughts on this mysterious capture? Could we be looking at evidence of a paranormal entity? Or is there a simpler, more earthly explanation? In this eerie video captured, we witnessed something truly peculiar. The front door camera recorded a pretty unsettling event. Initially, the motion sensor was activated by the two cars in the video, passing each other in opposite directions. So here's the video again. I just wanted you guys to get a better idea of it and let me know what you think. However, upon closer inspection, when the footage was slowed down, there was something deeply unsettling about one of the cars. At first glance, this mysterious entity appeared like a typical car. But upon further examination, it took on the form of a chilling white orb. It possessed the same size and shape as a car giving it an unsettling and ghostly appearance. The orb floated there and seemed to taunt the viewer with its odd presence, but the creepiness doesn't end there. After a few seconds, the floating orb began to morph right before our eyes. Slowly and unnervingly, it showed the shape of human legs. The transformation was disturbing, to say the least, as if some otherworldly force was manifesting itself right before us. And then suddenly, the humanoid legs vanished in thin air, leaving behind a troubling feeling of dread. Where did it go? What did we just witness? Honestly, the video leaves us with more questions than answers, and it's hard to shake off the feeling it leaves behind. Is this occurrence just an optical illusion? Or was it truly an orb that transformed into a human figure? Or perhaps something far more sinister and inexplicable? Whatever the case may be, this video is sure to haunt the viewer long after the screen goes black. Alright, let's check out this video clip from a camera, set up deep in the woods. I've got to admit, it's got me scratching my head. If you watch closely, you'll see something zip from one side of the screen to the other. Even though the camera was pretty far from where this happened, you can still tell that whatever it was, it was moving super fast. We tried to get a closer look by zooming in on the video. And guess what? Things got even weirder. When we zoomed in, it looked like there wasn't really anything there. Just something that looked like mist or smoke moving quickly. And considering how fast it was going, that's pretty wild. So what's going on in this video? Well, there are a few things it could be. Maybe we caught some kind of ghost or spirit on camera? Another thought is that the video was already a bit blurry, and when we tried to zoom in, it just got blurrier. That might be why it looked like smoke. Or, could someone have played around with the video to make it look mysterious? I really want to know what you think. Do you believe this video shows something unexplained and wild? Or do you think there's a simple reason behind what we're seeing? This footage is indeed a stirring example of human compassion and bravery. Watching someone risk their own safety to save a vulnerable creature from imminent danger is heartwarming to say the least. In this case, the man stopped his vehicle and sprinted towards the flames of the Thomas fire, ultimately rescuing a rabbit caught near the blaze. His actions have been hailed as heroic by many who have seen the footage. And personally, I'm surprised the animal came to him. Also, he seemed pretty upset about this. I thought at first it might have been a pet. However, it's important to note that experts generally advise against attempting to rescue wild animals during wildfires or other natural disasters. Animals have instincts and natural survival strategies that are usually more effective than human intervention. For example, a rabbit near a fire might actually be heading towards a burrow that it knows is safe or it might be trying to reach its young. 
Interfering could inadvertently do more harm than good, leading the animal away from its natural escape routes or hiding places. Though the intentions are noble, human interference could disrupt an animal's natural instincts for survival. According to experts, if the animal does not survive, it is part of the natural cycle of life and ecosystem balance. That said, the courage displayed by the man in the footage is commendable. It's a poignant reminder of the good that exists in the world, even if the best course of action in such situations is often to leave rescues to the professionals and focus on human safety. In the tranquil surroundings of Alligator Point on St. James Island, Florida, a curious event took center stage. A 375-pound black bear, after aimlessly wandering into a residential neighborhood, found itself in an unexpected predicament. Intrigued by its surroundings, the bear innocuously entered a home, prompting the intervention of wildlife conservation officers. Their aim was simple, sedate the bear and return it safely to its natural habitat. They opted for a tranquilizer, believing it to be the most humane method to ensure the safety of both the bear and the residents. However, things didn't go as planned. Rather than calming down, the dart induced panic in the bear, driving him towards the water. As the bear swam farther out, the sedative's effects began manifesting, making him drowsy and jeopardizing his ability to stay afloat. Observing the dire situation, Adam Warwick, a biologist with the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, recognized the imminent danger. Risking his own life, he dove into the water and courageously swam towards the massive, struggling creature. The scenario was tense. Adam had to contend with a semi-sedated bear that was understandably distressed, while managing to guide him towards shallow water. Displaying exceptional composure, Warwick maneuvered the bear closer to the shore, a feat made even more remarkable, given the bear's immense size and potential to harm. It wasn't just about physical strength, but also about reading the animal's distress and navigating the situation to ensure safety for both. Once near the shore, with the assistance of his colleagues and the strategic use of a tractor, they were able to transport the bear back to his home in Osceola National Forest. This event underscores the unpredictable nature of wildlife and the occasional intersections of their world with ours. More importantly, it highlighted the selfless heroism of individuals like Adam, who, when faced with a split-second decision, chose to act for the greater good. His bravery not only saved the bear, but also served as a testament to the lengths humans can go to preserve the lives of other creatures, emphasizing the intrinsic bond that links all living beings. <laughs>